Welcome. The California Farm Bureau Federation and State Fund have worked as partners in California agriculture since 1943. As industry leaders, it is part of our mission to help you do your job as safely as possible. Since the 1980s, ATV-related accidents, including all recreational uses, have resulted in over 9,000 fatalities nationwide. Each year, these accidents result in over 150,000 trips to emergency rooms. We've made this video to help keep you, your family, and your employees from becoming one of these statistics. These are fun and powerful machines, and it is tempting to ride fast and take chances. But leave the stunts to the pros. You have a job to do. There is no substitute for starting out with competent training and plenty of practice. Before riding, seek out a professional or experienced trainer, possibly through your local ATB dealer, for a course in basic operation and riding skills. ATVs are designed to be driver active, Driver active vehicles, like motorcycles or snowmobiles, require the driver's body movement to help control the vehicle. This takes skill, concentration, judgment, and physical strength. Practice on a flat and open area away from other vehicles until you get the feel for the ATV you will be using. After you are comfortable, you can ride the rougher terrain and slopes. This upfront investment in time can pay big dividends. There are many uses for ATVs on farms and ranches, from herding animals, to mowing grass and cutting brush, to spraying fertilizers or pesticides, to basic transportation. The one thing that most of these functions have in common is that they are performed over rough terrain and often in under less than ideal conditions. Farming work is often done at night, in cold and or wet weather, and under time pressure, and these stresses can affect your operation of the equipment. Take the time to read and understand the manufacturer's manual for the ATV or farm utility vehicle you will be using. The first line of defense against injury comes down to something as basic as the clothes you wear to work. When you know you will be driving an ATV, be sure to wear heavy pants or jeans and a long-sleeved work shirt and or jacket to help avoid injury from brush. Always wear boots. Your sneakers are not adequate to protect your feet and ankles. Gloves will help keep your fingers from getting scraped by brush and in cold weather are essential to keep your hands from becoming numb and compromising vehicle control. Wearing an approved helmet and eye protection is recommended in nearly all ATV manuals and on warning decals. Depending on your particular use of ATVs, the injury and illness prevention plan at your worksite and your employer's safety rules, helmets and eye protection may be required. Check with your supervisor first. Note that California law requires helmet use on all public roads and lands. Here is what to look for in a helmet. Make sure it has not sustained any major damage. If it has been damaged, then its ability to protect you may be compromised. Is the helmet generally in good condition? Does the chin strap work properly? The critical safety equipment in farm utility vehicles is the rollover protection structure, but it can only work properly and save you from injury if you wear your seat belt. All riders in any utility vehicle equipped with a rollover structure should always wear seat belts. Start the inspection by just walking around the vehicle. 
look to see if anything is tangled in the wheels or an axle. Look for major cuts or defects on all four tires. Verify the tire pressure by pinching. If they are soft, inflate to manufacturer specifications. Are the wheel bolts tight? Look to see that the gas tank is full. You may be in for a long walk back if you don't. Check the oil level and look for any signs of leaking. Verify that you have an emergency first aid kit on board. Even if you don't need one, you never know when someone else will. Test the foot pegs and foot plates to see if that they are solid and there's no movement. Look at the throttle cables and brake lines for signs of wear and tear. ATVs have a variety of starting procedures. Check the owner's manual before you start the machine. Make sure your machine is in neutral before starting. Next, turn on the ignition and see that the lights come on. Turn the handlebars left and right. The throttle should run smoothly with the handlebars turned either direction. Check the parking brake. It will probably still be engaged from when the last rider parked. Start out slowly and test pump the brakes. They should stop smoothly with no binding or pulling left or right. If you keep a log, date and sign and make note of any items that need attention. And make sure your supervisor knows of any problems you find. One characteristic that makes ATVs handle differently than most vehicles is that they generate a lot of torque. This means that they deliver an unusual amount of power at low RPM. Therefore, throttle control is crucial to your safety. Never rev up and pop the clutch. Too much throttle and an ATV can dig right out and backflip on top of you. Here are some basic tips for riding on normal flat terrain. Always look ahead and plan for the terrain you are approaching. Hazards can come from anywhere. There may be low branches, a tree down in the path, or an animal in the road. If you see something that looks tricky or you are not sure about, get off the ATV and walk the route first. When you drive looking ahead, you can plan for the terrain before you get there, rather than reacting at the last second. Always ask yourself, how stable is the ground? Are there any low branches? How deep are the ditches and holes? Is there room to safely turn around? Use an appropriate speed for the ground conditions and visibility. The key to avoiding hazards is to always be able to stop safely. And never drag a foot on the ground while the ATV is moving. Serious injuries can occur when a foot and ankle get caught and twisted between the foot plate and the ground. Remember, keep your feet on the pegs and you won't break your legs. Every vehicle has a center of gravity, or a point where the vehicle is balanced in all directions. Each model ATV is a little different, but the center of gravity for a typical ATV is about six inches above the center of the axle, and about six inches rear of the halfway point between the two axles. As we add weight to the vehicle, starting with the weight of the driver and then any items loaded onto racks, the center of gravity changes. It shifts higher and either forward or backward, depending on where the load is placed. 
Therefore, when your ATV is fully loaded and traversing a slope, the center of gravity can be dangerously close to the tipping point. In this situation, hitting a log or a rock can be enough to cause a rollover. Riders must always be conscious of what they are carrying or towing and how it affects their center of gravity. Experienced riders learn to counter the ever-shifting center of gravity by being driver active. That means shifting your body in a direction that makes the ATV more stable. For example, leaning and weighting the outside foot peg while turning or crouching low and forward when climbing up a slope. With time, it becomes second nature, and you'll not even have to think about being driver active. It is never a good idea to carry passengers on a single-seat ATV. The machine was made for one rider only. ATVs are made to transport you over rough terrain and not for hauling large loads. Any extra load directly affects the center of gravity, handling, and braking. Always attach gear to the racks either fore or aft and place the load as close to the center of the ATV as possible. Do your best to balance the load fore and aft as well as side to side 